guys? What's going on? It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Awesome. Raw review for the viewers at home today on one of the most highly anticipated, high strength, high stimulant nootropic supplements on the market at this point in time. It is, of course, Core Zap in the house. Let's get straight into it, show you guys exactly what's in it, tell you exactly what it's going to do. That nutritional information panel ain't going to get it done. We're about to go balls deep in this here core zap. Fortunately, got ourselves a big ass nutritional information panel for the viewers at home. Dilip, cut up the panel on the screen so the viewers can play along at home. Starting from the top, serving size, one scoop of 4.9 grams. Got yourself about 20 of them, one scoop, 4.9 gram bitches. And one of these are core zap bitches. In terms of what the 4.9 gram one scoop is made up of, Core, as they do on all of their supplements, have been kind enough to provide a full disclosure so we can add up all of the eight active ingredients and quickly discover there's 2.85 grams of actives in a 4.9 gram scoop. So we're dealing with 58% active ingredients, 42% flavors, sweeteners, no artificial colors. Core do not use artificial colors or dyes in any of their products. So we're dealing with a lot of flavors, a lot of sweeteners, a lot of inactive ingredients, but but nothing out of the ordinary for a nootropic because nootropics tend to have very nasty tasting ingredients in them and you need a significant amount of flavors and sweeteners and, and, and masking agents to mask those flavors or else nobody would drink nootropics because they taste like shit. And really, we're talking about 42% of a 4.9 gram scoop, so a very small amount uh, no matter how you cut it. In terms of what the 2.85 grams of actives is made up of, starting from the top, we've got ourselves a L-tyrosine in a 1,000 milligram dose. L-tyrosine, a nootropic amino acid, a precursor to L-dopa, which is in its own right a precursor to the neurotransmitters dopamine, noradrenaline, and adrenaline. L-tyrosine in particular, helps improve cognition in the presence of stress, both physical and psychological stress. The clinical dose is 500 to 2,000 milligrams. We have 1,000 milligrams. So we would go so far as to say it is perfectly dosed. Moving right along, we then get into citicoline, aka citadine 5 diphosphocholine aka CDP. Choline is what we're used to seeing, CDP choline. In a 500 milligram dose, CDP choline is a psychostimulant and a nootropic. It's a precursor to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, and acetylcholine helps with concentration, memory, paying attention, and most importantly, mental focus. My favorite neurotransmitter that there, acetylcholine. CDP choline in particular also helps increase the density of dopamine receptors, which means it's going to enhance the effects of L-tyrosine that we just spoke about. The clinical dose is 250 to 2000 milligrams. We have 500 milligrams, so we would go so far as to say it is perfectly dosed. Moving right along, we then get into Mucuna purians extract, the extract from the seed of the Mucuna purians plant, standardized for 40% L-dopa. I love seeing, I love seeing extracted ingredients standardized viewers at home. It makes me so happy because now we know exactly what we're talking about. And in this case, we're talking about L-dopa. L-dopa crosses the blood-brain barrier where it acts as a precursor to the neurotransmitters dopamine, noradrenaline, and adrenaline. Similar to tyrosine, it's just able to cross the blood-brain barrier much easier when it is L-dopa rather than L-tyrosine, which is a precursor to L-dopa. When L-dopa is in the brain and acting as a precursor to those neurotransmitters, it's going to increase your mood and feeling of well-being and also assist with increasing mental FICA. Also love me some dopamine. I prefer acetylcholine, but dopamine just makes you feel all kinds of nice. Can't go wrong with some dopamine. The clinical dose. 
<laughs> of uh, of L dopa is 40 to 80 milligrams. We have 40% of 500 milligrams, which means we have 200 milligrams of L dopa. That is a ridiculous dose. That is a stupid dose. That is, in terms of actual L dopa, I have not seen another supplement, whether it be a pre-workout or a stimulant or a nootropic or anything that, that has 200 milligrams of L-DOPA in there, let alone that much L-DOPA with L-tyrosine, which is a precursor to, it's just, it's a shitload of L-DOPA, which means there's gonna be a shitload of dopamine, adrenaline and noradrenaline neurotransmitters being being synthesized when you're taking this here cause up. Good times. Moving right along, we then get into caffeine and hydrous, a 400 milligram dose. Caffeine, of course, a central nervous system stimulant, gonna enhance physical energy, reduce fatigue, and boost psychological performance. Our efficacious dose of caffeine is anywhere from 200 to 400 milligrams. We have 400 milligrams. It is a very, very, high dose of caffeine, something that I'm gonna talk a little bit more about when we get to the effects of this cause up. Moving right along, we then get into theocrine as tasteless theocrine in a 250 milligram dose, which yields 40% uh, theocrine. Theocrine is a central nervous system stimulant similar to caffeine, so it's gonna do the same things that caffeine do, enhance physical energy, reduce fatigue, and boost psychological performance. But it's also gonna do some other cool shit, in particular, upregulate dopamine receptors. Uh, so you guys can start to see some synergism happening here. We've got L-tyrosine, which is a precursor to L-dopa. We have the biggest dose of L-dopa that we've ever seen in a supplement before, which is a precursor to dopamine. And then we have this teocrine, which upregulates our dopamine receptors so that we are actually able to receive more of this dopamine, which is being precursed, even know if that's a word, but it, I just used it, uh, by the L-dopa and the L-tyrosine. So there's, some, there's some, some synergism happening here in this here cause up. Back to theocrine. I mentioned it was very similar to caffeine. Another difference with the caffeine is it doesn't cause a crash and you do not build up a tolerance to it because it doesn't act on your stimulant receptors like caffeine does. Uh, minor effect of theocrine, it was, reduces inflammation caused by strenuous exercise. We're not really too concerned about that with this supplement. The clinical dose is 25 to 50 milligrams. We have 40% of 250. We have 100 milligrams of theocrine. Stupidly overdosed. More than twice, more than two times the maximum efficacious dose of theocrine. Stupid. Moving right along. We then get into theobromine in a 100 milligram dose. Theobromine is the bitter alkaloid of the cacao plants. Also acts as a central nervous system stimulant, approximately 10 times weaker than caffeine. In addition to all the benefits you get from caffeine, it also acts as a heart stimulant. It dilates blood vessels, acts as a weak diuretic also. The efficacious dose of theobromine is 500 milligrams. We only have 100 milligrams. Uh, so it is significantly underdosed. It's pretty much the only thing that's underdosed in this, uh, in this cause up. Moving right along, we then get into NMT, AKA N-methyl-L-tyramine hydrochloride in a 50 milligram dose. This is L-tyramine with a methyl group attached. It is also a CNS stimulant. It's a very strong beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, which means it's gonna upregulate your beta receptors to increase cyclic adenosine monophosphate levels, which in turn is gonna boost your base metabolic rate and increase the oxidation of fatty acids. It's gonna stimulate the release of noradrenaline. So once again, you can start to see some synergism happening here with this NMT and the L-DOPA and the L-tyramine all acting on this, this uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline neurotransmitter. Stimulating the release of noradrenaline is gonna help increase concentration and boost your heart rate up as well. It also acts as a mild alpha-2 adrenoreceptor antagonist, but we're not, gonna, we're not too concerned about that with this supplement. That's more of a fat burning effect. The clinical dose of N-methyl-L-tyramine is 200 milligrams. We only have 50, so we are below clinical dose with the, uh, with the NMT. So NMT and theobromine are below clinical dose. And then finally, moving right along, we get into hordenine hydrochloride in a 50 milligram 
same dose. Hordenine, aka NN dimethyltyramine, acts as a central nervous system stimulant, boosts your metabolic rate, and also has the effect of reducing appetite. The efficacious dose of hordenine is 25 to 50 milligrams. We have 50 milligrams, so we would go so far as to say that it is very well dosed. Got yourself about 42% flavors, sweeteners, no artificial dyes or colors. And that's what's in it. So as you guys can see, a uh, very synergistic blend of ingredients that is primarily targeted at neurotransmitters. And in particular, dopamine, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and acetylcholine to kind of really get you in that in that 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 zone of well-being and 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 concentration and mental focus and all the delicious things that you get by boosting these neurotransmitters. Very uh, strong stimulant blend with a whole shitload of caffeine, plus your theocrine, plus your theobromine, plus your N-methyltyramine, plus your hordenine. So even though we went through and we said like the theobromine and the NMT are quite underdosed, you do have to consider the entire stimulant blend together because all of those stimulants work synergistically to stimulate your central nervous system as well. It's not always a case of doing a massive dose of caffeine, massive dose of theocrine, massive dose of NMT, massive dose of theobromine, because for most people it's gonna blow your f-ing head off, it's just too much. In terms of what it's missing on paper, from a nootropic perspective, really the only thing that you could add to it would be some huperzine A, which is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, which blocks or that doesn't block but uh, but 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 suffocates the enzyme that's responsible for the breakdown of excess acetylcholine so we've got the the acetylcholine in there which is a precursor to acetylcholine and if we added some huperzine a it would stop that excess acetylcholine from being broken down but apart from that from a nootropic perspective very very complete and I mean from an l-dopa perspective I mean stupid amounts of uh, of 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 <laughs> dopa and tyrosine it's just like nothing else we've ever seen in a nootropic before from a pre-workout perspective and i'm going to mention this because i know that core has done a little bit of marketing around this being like a very very high stimulant pre-workout from a pre-workout perspective it's missing a lot uh, you know, no surprises here. It doesn't have anything for muscle pump. It doesn't have anything for muscle power. It doesn't have anything for muscular endurance. It doesn't have anything for muscle volume. It really just focuses on two aspects of pre-workout supplementation. That is physical energy and mental focus. Uh, it does that very well on paper, but it's missing a whole lot of other bits and pieces from a, from a complete pre-workout perspective, uh, which is why I kind of you know think that it's much more of a nootropic than a pre-workout supplement. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes, comes in one flavor, comes in electric lemon. Lime. This is actually my, my personal tub of, uh, of Core Zap, so I'm not going to bro punch this bitch in for you guys because I took the liberty of doing that when I first opened the tub. Infamous Massive Joe's taste and mixability test about to go down. Got our double wall glass ready to go. Got a spoon down here as well. A uh, couple of things I'm going to mention before we jump into the infamous Massive Joe's taste and mixability test. First thing, the scoop is, is the, the handle on the scoop is way too f***ing big for this tub. Uh, and it, it, it's like kind of like, look at this, look at the size of that handle. What is going on here? It's like, how is that supposed to look? How is that supposed to fit in this tub? It's too damn big. So you will, you will notice that when you open the tub, the handle's kind of like bent in there to fit in the tub and you have to bend it back in there to get it back in once you've opened it for the first time. The second thing I will mention is the scoops are actually underdosed. Uh, by by about 20%. So a full scoop is supposed to be 4.9 grams. Uh, a full scoop is about four grams. Uh, so if you're looking to do like an actual serve, it's not going to be a level scoop like that because that's going to get you four grams. It's actually going to be quite a heap scoop like that. Uh, that's, well, that's probably a bit too much. Something like that is going to get you the 4.95-ish grams. So you need to keep that in mind is that the scoop is actually under a fair bit. So I'm going uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to follow the instructions as listed on the label. Mix one scoop 
it's going to be a heaping scoop. Uh, with 8 to 12 ounces of water, 15 to 30 minutes prior to workout or when energy and focus is needed. Well, I'm not about to work out. I don't need energy or focus. But I'm going to show you guys how this bitch mixes. So let me take one heaped scoop. I have, uh, here's my one heap scoop. I have uh, eight ounces of water in my double wall glass. I'm gonna throw this bitch in this bitch and let it rain, let it rain. A few flicks of the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys how this core zap mixes. I'm gonna refresh my memory on how this core zap tastes, man. All right, that's enough. As you guys can see, uh, quite clearly, no artificial colors or dyes because it looks kind of milky and creamy. It's not, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Uh, as you guys can see, no floaters, no sinkers. It is pretty much perfectly mixed. And if I leave it there in solution, it doesn't settle to the bottom either. So I would go so far as to say a blender ball is not required for this here core zap. Let me refresh my memory on how this lemon lime tastes, man. It's not bad. And coming from somebody who is uh, famous for their hate of citrus flavors, um, I don't mind it, as a matter of fact. It's, uh, it's definitely a, a pleasant lemon-lime flavor. It's not too strong. It's not too citrusy. I mean, lemon-lime is going to be citrusy, but it's not like the kind of citrus that I'm like, no, thank you. I will not be drinking that ever again. Um, it's quite a pleasant flavor. The one thing that I will notice is there is quite a strong, bitter aftertaste that lingers in your mouth. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get it in about a minute. Um, I know that it's coming. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, uh, but it is, it's a, it's a bitter aftertaste and it's almost like it gets stuck in your, in your gums or the top of your mouth. I'm not sure where, but it just feels like it lingers. Um, uh, and that's, unfortunately, that's a side effect of, of massive doses of mucunipurians, uh, big doses of CDP choline and all of those active ingredients that just don't have nice uh, flavor profiles. Uh, so that is something to watch out for. But I mean, the, the flavor is, is quite pleasant, quite easy to drink and quite nice. In terms of the effects, let me just, let me just firstly say that uh, the, for me personally, there's way too much caffeine and hydrous in this cause app. Um, you know, you guys who follow my videos, follow raw reviews would know that for me, 300 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous in a single discrete dose is my upper limit. If I go over 300, I get bad effects. I feel anxious, I feel jittery, I start yawning, it makes me feel tired. It's just not a pleasant experience. So. A full scoop of this does not sit well with me. I have found for me personally that half a scoop, half a serve, two and a half grams is the sweet spot for me. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about is the half a serve, which for me I found is like primo. So in a half serve, in a, in a 2.5 gram scoop, uh, amazing feeling of well-being. Like I literally, I feel like a million bucks uh, on half a serve of this core zap. The dopamine from the tyrosine and the mucunipurians combined with the, the, the uh, density of the dopamine receptors being upregulated from the CDP choline and the, the upregulation through the theocrine. I mean, it is just an amazing feeling of well-being and elevated mood. Like I just... I, I've, 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 I've had half of this, I've had half a serve, and I know for the rest of the day, I'm gonna be floating on cloud nine. <laughs> it is really just an amazing feeling of well-being. 
really good mental focus too. Um, very good feeling of just like being in the zone. I know if I take half a server cause that before I've got some, you know, mentally demanding task, I've got to do some paperwork or I've got to look at some numbers or I've got to do some contracts or whatever it is. I can just, I know it's going to get me in the zone and allow me to focus very directly, very discreetly on that task at hand. Really, really good mental focus and great energy as well in a, in a half serve. So in a half serve, I'm getting 200 milligrams of caffeine. I'm getting, in fact, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it for you guys because I want you to, to uh, I don't usually do half serves of supplements, but because most of the ingredients in here in a full scoop are significantly overdosed, I mean, in half a scoop, I'm still getting a clinical dose of L-tyrosine. I'm still getting a clinical dose of CDP choline. I'm still getting over a clinical dose of L-dopa. I'm getting 200 milligrams of caffeine, which for me is perfect. I'm still getting an upper clinical dose of theocrine. I'm not getting theobromine, but I'm not really too fussed with that anyway, because I've got a whole bunch of other stimulants. NMT, also not a clinical dose. Once again, not too fussed. And then I'm still getting a clinical dose of hordenine. So apart from the theobromine and the N-methyltyramine, which even in a full scoop, you're not getting full clinical doses of, but it doesn't matter because they work synergistically with all the other stimulants. I'm still getting big efficacious doses of every single ingredient in this cause app, which is why I get such an incredible feeling of well-being, why I'm zoned in and I'm, I'm able to focus, and why I get great energy off it in a half serve. It, I mean, it's it's really cool that you can do that with a half serve of this cause app. You know, I'm almost tempted to the point where I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I probably will do it actually once I finish this raw review. I'm going to drop a message to CEO of Core Nutritionals, Doug Miller. I'm going to say, look, man, in the next run, keep the formula the same, drop the scoop size in half, and make it a 40 serve tub, not a 20 serve tub. <laughs> because you can do that and that suits me just fine because I'm doing half a serve of this cause app anyway and getting these great results. I mean, as a nootropic, very, very good supplement. As a pre-workout, once again, I said I'd touch on it because Core have kind of, you know, done a bit of pre-workout marketing. Uh, you know, good for energy, good for focus, not good for anything else. So as a pre-workout, it really falls down. But as a nootropic, very, very good uh even in a half scoop serve, which is what I take personally. In terms of side effects, like I said, way too much caffeine and hydrous for me, gonna be too much caffeine and hydrous in a full scoop serve for most people, which is why I recommend guys dropping that back and, uh, and, and, and doing half a serve like I do. In terms of stackability, the only thing from a nootropic perspective you'd wanna stack it with would be something, some huperzine A, some pure huperzine A. I wouldn't go stack it with anything else that's gonna mess up the synergism between the dopamine and the acetylcholine and the adrenaline and noradrenaline because at the moment it's primo, it's perfect, so I wouldn't go f***ing that up. From a, uh, a pre-workout stackability, of course, you can stack it with a pump formula, muscle power formula, muscular endurance formula, muscle volume formula, all of the things, all of the gaps that it has as a, as a pre-workout supplement is really the types of products that, uh, that you can stack it with. The final thing I'm gonna say is in terms of price and value for money, and now this, you gotta stay with me here because I'm, I'm gonna crunch some numbers for you guys. So in a full scoop, in a, tw in a, in a, in a 4.9 gram or heaped scoop, as you guys know, the scoop is a little underdosed, uh, you're talking 20 serves. In the Australian market, this cause app retails for $69.95. So at the, the, the heaped scoop, 20 serves, it is quite expensive. It comes out to $3.50 per serve. If you're doing what I'm doing and taking half a scoop, taking half a serve, it comes out to $69.95 for 40 serves, which makes it half the price per serve, so $1.75 per serve, which makes it the best value for money nootropic supplement on the market in Australia that I'm personally aware of at this point in time. So. It's kind of like it sits, it, it really depends how much of it you're gonna take. My personal opinion, I don't think anyone needs to take more than half a serve because half a serve for me is amazing uh, and really ticks all the boxes from a nootropic perspective. 
and then some. But I mean, if you are going to take, if you are going to do a full serve, it is quite an expensive nootropic supplement. I just don't think that anybody needs to uh, needs to be doing a, a, a full serve. I've never done it because I know the 400 milligrams of caffeine is just going to set me off, um, and and half a serve is really where it is for me. But guys, if you're in the market for a very very comprehensive nootropic formula that is just going to give you a feeling of well-being that is just over and above any other nootropic on the market combined with awesome mental focus and really good sustained clean stable energy in a half serve you have to go out and get yourself some of this core zap guys hit the subscribe button subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Raw Review. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review on the all new, new tropic from Core, Core Zap. In the house. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.